My name is Dr. Stephanie Smith and I am the Director of Infection Prevention and Control at the University Hospital. I'm here with Mary Lou, our unit manager for 3D3, which is our designated COVID-19 unit. Over the next few minutes, we would like to take this opportunity to show you the setup, approach, and principles of our COVID-19 unit. We recognize that every AHS unit at each facility is unique, but we hope that you can take some of the principles that we have learned and adapt them to your facility to provide optimal care for patients and to protect healthcare workers. Let's start with our donning station outside of the unit. We will don all our PPE prior to entering the unit as inside the unit is considered to be potentially contaminated. The PPE coach supports the PPE donning process and is in place to keep everyone safe. The PPE coach ensures that staff understand the entire unit is considered contaminated. And the core, which includes the back room, desk, medication room, and supply carts are considered clean hand, glove-free zones. Items you are not allowed to bring into the unit include lanyards around your neck, personal items such as bags or purses, jewelry or wristbands, or cell phones and pagers unless necessary for clinical work. If you are taking a cell phone into the unit, be aware that there is a bucket at the desk to leave it in and it must be cleaned on the way out. Other questions that will be asked. Which patient are you going to see to facilitate appropriate PPE? For example, for a patient on continuous AGMP, you would require an N95 respirator. And, will you be here just once today or in and out multiple times? If you are lab or pharmacy coming just one time in the shift, we will have you use the mask face shield combo. The PPE coach will perform a final check before you enter the unit. Is the gown tied up at neck and back without gaping? Is there hair off the gown? Are there gloves over the gown sleeves with no gaps at the wrist? Are you wearing the appropriate visor or face shield? And remember, on leaving the unit, you must have the spotter watch you take off your PPE. Before entering a room to complete an assessment, the nurse performs hand hygiene, then dons gloves. takes a stethoscope hanging on the hook in the hallway and enters the room. Physicians on the COVID unit will arrive at the donning station and take the instructions from the PPE coach on donning a gown, mask, and shield. The doctor will place mobile phones in the basket. Once you've left the patient room, it's time to doff your gloves. Take off the gloves, Clean your hands and put on new gloves. Use a wipe for cleaning shared equipment like a stethoscope, glucometer or rover. Place the disinfected equipment in a predetermined clean place. Remove gloves. Clean your hands again and collect new gloves for the next patient. There will be a lab cart on the COVID unit. The lab cart is kept in a glove-free zone. Therefore, the lab techs will perform hand hygiene before accessing any supplies from that cart. The lab tech proceeds to the cart and takes what supplies are needed. The cart can be parked just outside the patient's room. The collection tubes and bag will be considered dirty as it will be all in the dirty unit. The lab tech sets down required supplies on a clean surface, uses hand sanitizer, puts on gloves, picks up supplies and enters the patient room. The lab tech completes the collection by putting the tubes into a collection bag. On leaving the patient environment, the lab tech will remove their gloves and clean their hands. The lab tech will put on clean gloves and proceed to the next patient if needed. Or the lab person will take all samples to the unit entrance. 
The dining station PPE coach will open a clean bag and the lab tech will gently drop each specimen collection bag into it. The lab will put the cart away and proceed through the doffing station. Environmental services staff play a crucial role in disinfecting high-touch areas. Environmental services staff are reminded to stop at the donning station and follow the instructions of the PPE coach. Food services workers do not enter the unit to deliver trays. The food services worker brings the delivery cart to the donning station at the main entrance doors of units. The unit staff will accept the delivery cart onto the unit. The staff on the COVID unit will wash their hands, don new gloves, and deliver trays to each room. Unit staff will change gloves with every new tray. Once a meal is done, unit staff place trays on the cart. Food services staff return to the donning station, put on their gloves, and take the cart for processing. It's the end of the shift and time to go home. Grasp the outside edge of the glove near the wrist and peel away from the hand, turning the glove inside out. Slide an ungloved finger or thumb under the wrist of the remaining glove and peel that glove off over the first glove, making a bag for both gloves. Put the gloves in the garbage. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub. If your hands look or feel dirty, use soap and water. Carefully unfasten ties. Turn the gown inside out during removal. Put in the hamper or, if disposable, put in the garbage. Clean your hands using alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. Handle eye protection only by the headband or ear pieces. Carefully pull away from the face. Put reusable items in an appropriate area for cleaning and put disposable items into the garbage. When removing a mask, bend forward slightly and carefully remove the mask from your face by touching only the elastic bands or ties. Throw the mask in the garbage. Clean your hands using alcohol-based hand rub. I hope this short video has impressed upon you the importance of using PPE appropriately on a COVID unit. And if you are considering developing a COVID unit, we hope that this has been instructive in terms of the principles that you would have to take into consideration. Together, we do amazing things every day.